Hey YouTube, it's Zeppelin Sam right here with another epic laugh my ass off video. Me and Kagan, oh! he would yell at you. He's chilling with me now, and we're going to put another shit up, another video on YouTube of our epicness times and stuff and junk. So we're waiting for the bus, which is like late and stuff. So yeah, we'll be here for a while, but we're not going to videotape that while because that would be a waste of digital memory card space. So yeah, um, when we're done that, we're gonna chill and we'll videotape those epic times as they occur later. The bus, it approaches, let us move. Time to go. Hey, we went, we went. You would not be able to hear us because we were on the bus. So not to speak up and everyone else on the bus is looking at me. Say hi, King. Hi! Yay for that. Okay, so here we are. We are on camera now. And we're walking from the bus. To the house! Okay. Ha! We find it a birds, Birdie. and we saw them on the camera. Okay, YouTube, we're here at Kagan's house, chillaxmifying. He says hello in mouthful of knees. We eat the hot dogs, <coughs> the mac, and the wista, which will soon be mac, which is one of my jobs while we're here. Um, we're chilling. <coughs> and we won't be chilling after we're done, because then we'll be chilling elsewhere. And this place will lack the chilling that we are having right now. Midget porn. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, midget porn. Alright. As we usually do, we're going on another adventure. But this time, our adventure has more of a point. We're going to Hillbilly Village first. And then we're going to go buy pizza. So, let's go to the Hillbilly Village. When surviving in the safari forest, you're never going to survive unless you have everything on your back. So I'm carrying a backpack and walking through the wilderness, like Bear Grylls from Man vs. Wild. Nah. I've come across a wild Kagan in the wild, and I'm in the wild when no one else can find me. He's running away. I'm gonna chase after him. Nah. Uh oh, I've come across some bike track mud. I don't think I should do it because I'm wearing pumas. I'm gonna be very careful so I don't ruin my shoes. And I survived the mud path. All right, on to my island adventures. I found a local river. I think I'm going to requench my thirst here. The water looks rather murky, so I'm gonna use my testicle sack to filter out the crap. Here we travel through the dense, dense forest and jungle such lings as, as I'm following through the thick brush of the area. I found myself in a serious need of a pee. Sticks on the ground tell me that there are sticks on the ground in this area. I should watch out. Another tribal bridge. As I see it, we're getting close. I hear voices in the distance. They are probably wondering what the hell we're up to. The thing is we're totally in Brampton and not in some epic jungle. When you're near local bridges, you can build a shelter up in the rafters. Because I'm in the wild and not in some urban territory. Oh. We are here in a cave, which is actually considered to the tribals as a bridge. As you can see here, there's all of these tribal drawings talking about their religion, their faith. All these little scribed things. I can't even tell what they are, some kind of calligraphy. We're in the wild. And here it seems they worship some kind of diamond-like figure. They presented it upon this writing, probably praising it. No blacks. They must obviously have some kind of tribal rivalry with a black clan. Gates is the gateway to Narnia. Narnia critters. Here we are in the local area of tribal still. Um, what we found here is some dandelions. You might have seen these before in your local neighborhood. And I was gonna say, oh, we should eat them, but I tried one and it was fucking gross. So, I'm not gonna do that again. No, no this is clearly a beaver dam. All right, here we observe a tangly, goggly mess of tree and stick and water. And I'm not really sure what to call this, <coughs> but I am a wilderness expert. So from now on, it should be called a wildly goggly thingy in the wilderness. Yeah, in the wilderness, I've just found something amazing. I found some tires. You realize these things are really expensive? They would go for like $500 at Canadian Tire. Um, but I found them here, in the wilderness. See, everything does grow on trees. Here we are, in the wilderness here. We found some train tracks in the wilderness. Maybe we could feed off its steel bars, but it would be quite hard to chew because steel has been known to be very hard. Here we find a shelter made out of train tracks. And it's made of train tracks. I'm gonna cough, I'm talking in a growly voice. <coughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we found train tracks again. Ooh, yeah. Here we observe Kagan, he has found himself some camouflage. 
It's really just a stick and I don't see what he's seeing in it, but um, it's camouflage right now, so we don't look stupid. He, can, uh, where'd he go? I can't even see him anymore. There's a stick. All I see, oh, it's a mo- he dropped- oh, dang it, whoa! That was a short from our, our series on Bear Growls, Men vs. Wild. Yeah, um, we're done acting like British Army troops that are now wilderness explorers on Discovery Channel every Sunday. Um, and now, we're gonna go place. And stuff. So yeah, bye. Today, my hands are filthy, Mom. This is a message to my mother. My hands are filthy. I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. We're picking up random pieces of metal and throwing it around like we have nothing better to do. And no, this is not my real voice. Hey, Kagan, where'd the growl in your voice go? This is supposed to be epic. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Thank you. Oh, look at this. A really orange rock. Oh, my. It appears to have found some really large screws. Maybe we can use them for shelter. Oh, no. You tossed one. And here goes the other. Jesus. That was Smithy. That was Jesus. That's a car. Oh, I appear to have found more rail spikes. This might be, Jesus! This might be a, a sign from the moose or something to that effect. Jesus! Oh, he hit one. Hit another. I can't believe I just found that little spanking device, sir. Uh, some kind of... It appears some Austrian hooker has been here. Austrian? She's made her and has had her way with the arse of the railroad. As you can see, this is some kind of fetish item that you can use to spank people's buttocks. And it has a piece of metal on it, as you can see, to make extra hurt. Uh-oh, I've come across some bike track mud. 